For every two orders that Il Villaggio Magnolia used to get through delivery apps, its owner tells me they're now getting just one. And now its owner says they are working to urge their customers to directly order through them instead of going through the apps. I always go Hawaiian ham and pineapple. That's my favorite. Pizza is a tasty treat on weekends. It, it's comfort food, yeah. But even though the staff of Il Villaggio Magnolia are beefing up their efforts in the kitchen. Normally I have like 13 to 20 orders in a night. So far this Sunday evening. We've had exactly three orders for delivery. Love your pizza, I'm gonna help you. Most of the orders they've gotten. Order for pickup, what can I get for you? Have been for pickup only. It used to be a lot busier. And that's been the case since mid-January, says owner Jeffrey Stern. Just in the third-party delivery apps, 50% down. That's when a gig worker ordinance went into effect in Seattle, causing most food delivery apps to charge an extra five bucks per order. Here, it's slicing their sales. We're losing tips, we're losing, you know, wages because there's, you know, less hours to cover because it's not as busy as it was. So they are rummaging for a solution. And everyone's scrambling to figure out how to, you know, how to come out the other side. They even sought advice from marketing partners. And they suggested they put a pop-up on my website saying, save up to 30% by ordering directly through us. Still, it's tough to slide consumer habits. So the heat is on to find the right ingredients for success in this new normal. So we're trying to educate the consumer. Pizza, pasta, sandwiches, calzones, we make it all. Eating is community, right? And we, we, we want to you know, have a better community. Representatives for apps like DoorDash and Uber Eats say the fee is their response to the ordinance because they say that the ordinance has boosted their operating costs. And so this is to counteract that. I reached out to Seattle City Council for a comment, uh, but as of now, I have yet to receive one. Reporting live in Seattle, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.